Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm here with McLeod Glass, and we're going to talk about Gen 8 servers. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what's new in the Gen 8, and then we'll take a look at a couple of the new, uh, the newer servers. Okay, great. So uh, I'm here to talk to you about our new uh, uh, scale-up portfolio. Uh, if you look at our scale-up portfolio, we've got a, uh, uh, a industry-leading portfolio. We've been uh, number one from a market share standpoint. Uh, since really since the category came to, came into existence, uh, you know we've got a couple of new servers in that portfolio that I'm going to talk to you about: our uh, DL560 and DL660C. Uh, real excited about those servers. They're uh, ideal for virtualization uh, from from the standpoint of uh, additional compute and memory capacity, more performance per watt, and a very efficient um, design. Uh, you know, one's a two U, one's a single high blade. All right, well let's take a look. Yeah, let's start with the uh, DL660C uh, here. So this is uh, our latest uh, scale-up blade server uh, that we introduced to the portfolio in September. Uh, it's based on the, E5, the Intel E5 4600 processor. Um, it has all of the, the goodness of our uh, Proliant Gen 8 uh, products in it. Uh, and it's a single wide uh, 4P blade and we're real excited to, to bring this to market. So what's different about this? Obviously it's a smaller size than, than kind of like the, the classic like 380 uh, line ProLine server, but what what is specific about this particular server that makes it great for the enterprise? Yeah, so uh, one of the great things is the uh, larger memory footprint uh, and additional compute capacity with basically more performance per watt and a smaller footprint. Um, it's really uh, well suited for virtualization, so if, as customers continue to to grow the amount of virtualization they're doing within their environment. Typically, they've used uh, 2P servers to base that virtualization on. Um, these new servers give double the memory footprint over what they had previously and, and allow them to you know, maybe uh, approach some workloads that they couldn't do before. So when you say double the memory footprint, what's the maximum capacity of this, of this machine? So they have 40, they support 48 uh, DIMM sockets. So you can do 48, 32 gig uh, DIMMs in a DL560C uh, uh, and uh, 32 DIMMs on the BL660C. Wow, that's a lot of RAM. Yeah. So that really is, this really is a virtualization machine. Absolutely, absolutely. Should we move over to the 560 and talk about that? Yeah, let's talk a little bit about some of the, I can talk about some of the uh, Gen 8 features here. Um, some of the things that we introduced, if you look at this box, you know, a lot of the blue touch points, like real easy uh, for a customer to kind of service and understand what they're doing within the box. Uh, our new um, HP Smart Socket, Smart so, Socket guys. So you're talking about like here and here. These are these are the customer serviceable yeah, pieces. Absolutely, and uh, the, this is our HP Smart Socket guide. Um, this is the design that we introduced in, in the Gen 8 timeframe to really uh, protect the processors. If you look at the processors, they have um, a really dense pin field on them. And uh, sometimes one of the issues that customers encounter is when they're trying to install a processor in the system itself is those pins get bent and they don't really know, you know that they're bent when they install them and they have kind of intermittent problems or whatever. And we've eliminated that problem with uh, the introduction of our Proline Gen 8s with this new smart socket guide. Like the rest of the Gen 8 line, these are uh, very interchangeable parts within the data center? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, all common across across our, our portfolio, um, all the way down to uh, ILO, the ILO management engine that's in every single one of these systems, allows you to manage them all exactly the same way. Uh, the Proliant Smart Storage, if you look at the storage components uh, and the hard drives, if you look at the uh, smart drive carrier on the front, uh, all of those things uh, are built to be common across the whole portfolio and across the data center. Uh, even down to our uh, flexible LOMs, uh, customers have the ability to choose their technology and their interface in terms of their networking. So if you look at here, we've got uh, you know basically a, a, a flexible LOM. They can choose between one gig or 10 gig. They can choose between uh, you know uh, 10 base T or, uh, and, um, and SFP plus uh, for their interfaces. All right, is there anything else you want us to know about these two servers? Um, just that they are, are a complement to the entire portfolio of scale-up servers we have. If you look at the scale-up portfolio, we've got the DL580 and the DL980 G7s, which are ideal for um, more transactional and large database workloads, uh, business intelligence, uh, in-memory database kind of things. Uh, and these are ideally suited for virtualization, the, D the DL560 and the BL660C. Uh, I think uh, customers should, uh, you know, Ask ask about them and uh, check them out. They're a great uh, great new service to our portfolio. All right, well, McLeod, thank you. Yep, thank you.